What is up, YouTube? This is Trent here with another YouTube video today. Um, I got something really, really cool to show you guys. It's the coolest thing I've ever gotten before. Um, pretty awesome, but I've been telling you these past few days on my uh, YouTube videos, uh, I might be doing some pretty cool Friday night, and um, I got something pretty cool, plus more than I expected, actually. Um, let me kind of start off the story. Uh, I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can. Um, not the best explaining stuff. Um, I mean, all you guys know my name's Trent by now, I hope. Um, I'm from a town called Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, it's actually the same town Elvis Presley and Ray Strummond are from. And um, there's this a uh, player I uh, DM'd on Instagram. His name is Del Delvin Zen. He is a minor league player for the uh, Chicago Cubs. Um, he is from Pontotoc, Mississippi, which is about 20 minutes away from my house. Um, he is a, he's a guy I grew up watching, uh, seen him play many uh, high school baseball games. He played basketball too. I had to see a few basketball games. But um, I DM him. I DM'd him on Instagram asking for an autograph, and uh, he messaged me back within like five minutes. It was very quick. He's like, "Yeah, man, I'll send you a game used baseball bat." And I start freaking out. I'm like, "Dude, thank you so much. That's like really cool, man. I'm like, you don't have to do this." But uh, I, I, I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, "Thank you so much, man." And he's like, "Yeah, I'm about to send it out in the mail right now." Uh, you should do it in like a week or a week and a half. Well, a month goes by, and I still haven't gotten anything from him. I message him back. I'm saying, uh, hey, did you send me the, the damn news bat? Uh, I, I've not got it yet. Did it possibly get lost in the mail? Uh, do you know what, what happened? He's like, I'm so sorry, man. Totally forgot about it. He's like, I'm sending it in the mail right now. So, um. I sent him a DM back in October, so this is November. I was, um, asked him back, and he said it'd be another week, week and a half. And another another month goes by. So now it is December. I don't remember the exact day, but this was last week, I think. Or it could have been Monday. But, um, he's like, man, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about it again. But... Um, He's like, I know I'm really sorry, but uh, um, he asked, um, he said, I'm actually in Mississippi right now. I'm here with my family for Christmas here for a few weeks. He's like, um, do you want to go to a vent zone, hang out with me, go bowling, and I'll give you the game news back. Uh, for you guys who don't know what a vent zone is, uh, it's a really big place. They have a bunch of arcade games. They have a bowling alley in there, uh, laser tag. Um, there might be some other stuff, but it's a, it's a really cool place anyway. But, um, he asked, he's like, do you want to hang out this Friday night? He messaged me back, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, do you want to hang out this Friday night? No bowling with me. And one of my friends, Ty, Tyreek Reed, will be there with me. Now, Tyreek Reed is from Pontotoc, Mississippi, too. He's 20 minutes away from me. Uh, he's another minor league player, he plays for the... Uh, Tetris Rangers right now, so this is two minor league players I'm going to hang out with. Um, oh yeah, I wrote down some little stuff on a piece of paper, so I won't forget. Um, Delvin, let me let me do a little background on both of these players. Uh, both of these players went to Pontotoc High School. Uh, both played baseball, both played basketball. I think they both graduated the same year. Um, Delvin Zen went 23rd round. This year, pick uh, 704 to the Chicago Cubs, and Tyreek Reed went 8th round, 254 pick to the Rangers. Um, just to give you guys like a heads up kind of information about them. But, um, yeah, he's like, Tyreek Reed's on B here with me. He's hanging out with me here in Mississippi for a few weeks, too. He's like, you want to come hang out with the event zone with me? It's Friday night. I'm like, dude, I love to. But, um, oh yeah, let me go back for a minute. I actually forgot about this. Uh, when we first started DMing him on, I first DMed him on Instagram. Um, 
he was, he's really nice dude. We had a very, we had like a whole three day conversation, message, messaging back and forth. Really nice dude. Um, talking about all kind of sports stuff, um, anything. But, um, I actually asked him, uh, I did the church in Pontotoc, Mississippi, and there's these two guys I did the church with, um, and I just asked him, I'm like, hey, you know these guys, uh, they actually went to Pontiac High School, uh, kind of graduated about the same time you did, uh, just, just asking the questions. He's like, yeah, I know him. Um, he's like, I know him really good. One of them I actually played baseball with my whole life, pretty much, travel ball, high school baseball, four years, um, graduated the same year. He's like, yeah, um. Uh, the kid's name is Walker. He's like, I know Walker, like, really did. He's like, he's one of my best friends. So I'm like, there's another really good connection. And then another kid's name is Jake. Um, he don't know, he don't know Jake is good, but still knows him kind of good. Um, he knows his parents, know their grandparents, uncles, aunts. He knows every one of them. So we had a really good conversation about that. But, um, I actually invited them to do with me, uh, delve an entire week tonight, but they could not calm but i got another friend from school who was able to come with us um we had to go to event zona for about a hour and a half tonight i'm guessing but it was very cool um them guys are very very nice uh they talked to me my friend the whole time just about high school um i mean we're seeing me and my friend and seniors in high school so they're asking us what our plans are for college uh, what we are majoring in um, and then just talking about high school sports and, uh, we was talking about memories of them, me and my friend, remember, uh, seeing them play in high school and college, uh, just, we had some really good conversations with them tonight, and then they asked us like, what our parents do, uh, I mean, they're joking around with us, uh, bowling the whole time, um, just very nice dudes, I was very impressed with them, uh. I mean, they seriously talked to us the whole time. They did not keep their mouth shut one time, but very nice dudes. But, um, okay, anyway, going back to the back story, um, I emailed Devin's in asking him for the damn used bat. Uh, I was supposed to send it to me, forgot twice, but messaged me back on Monday saying, you know, if you come to Event Zona Mon uh, Friday night, I'll give you the bat. So it came to Event Zona and, um, I didn't know Tyree Raids was give me anything at all. I thought he was just going to show up. But, um, I actually DM Delvin back on Instagram saying, uh, hey, is it okay if I uh, print a few pictures for you and Tyree to sign if y'all didn't mind? He's like, yeah, man, I'd love to sign the pictures for you. So now I'm going to be showing you the pictures and the bats I got signed. Uh, Tyree Reed gave me a bat to a damn used bat. I was not expecting anything from him at all. I knew Delvin was giving me the bat. So I got two damn used bats. Uh, I've never seen, well, I've been doing TTMs, fan packs, collecting autographs for, uh, man, since I was nine or 10, I'm guessing. I've been collecting forever. And uh, I don't even remember one or two guys maybe getting a damn used bat. But that was actually at the stadium, my player Dave. But I've never heard of anyone didn't hang out with two minor league baseball players for an hour and a half. Two gamey's bats. I mean, that's just unreal. But then they actually told me when I was leaving. Uh, they said, we're going to be in Mississippi here for about two more weeks. Uh, and then they're saying, um, they're asking me, asking me if I was going to be in town for Christmas week. Uh, if I had any plans for Christmas, anything, darn like that. And I told him I was going to be here in Tupelo. Uh, didn't have a whole lot going on. And then they said, um, they said, we love talking to you and your friend. Y'all are like very interesting. Um, it really means a lot for uh, people from your home state, uh, kind of from the same area, supporting, supporting us. He's like, guys, you really don't understand how much it means to us. No one's ever DM'd us on Instagram asking for an autograph. Um, he's like, man, I just love talking to you guys. That's what, that's what both of them said. Y'all very interesting. Love the old memories. I actually, they both said, I actually 
uh, forgot about some of that stuff. But um, I don't even show you the pictures. Uh, I printed five pictures of, of these guys, signed all five of them. Uh, they're very nice dudes. I mean, I even told them, like, you guys don't have to sign all these pictures, but and they're like, man, I love to sign all these pictures for you. But um, as far as picture, um, this one kind of means a lot to me. Um, this first picture is going to be a Tyreek Reed. Um, this is him actually signing his, uh, what do you call it, like his uh, contract, his contract. And he signed it here actually in Tupelo, Mississippi, about five minutes from my house. He signed his contract back in the summer. I uh, can't remember the store where he signed it at. But, um, he, we actually had, he was actually talking about this picture, too, of how he was, uh, you can't see him in the picture, but he was behind this man, and uh, well, Devin was behind the man. Devin's mom was in the picture, and talking about all their family and stuff, but it was very cool. This first picture is of Tyreek Reed. This is him right here, signed it right here in black. Um, Sharpie did not, well, I mean, it kind of messed up a tiny bit. I mean, it still turned out really good. I'm not trying to complain, but um, I mean, this picture turned out really good. And he was, he was making fun of this kid up here. His head that cut off. He's like, man, this dude, this dude up there is a stalker, man. He's trying to stalk me. He's a photo bomber, all kind of stuff. Uh, Kind of have a little joke about that picture, and these uh, next four pictures, um, I'm, they're actually just all the same picture. I'm only gonna keep one of them, but um, I'm giving another one to my friend that uh, came tonight. He had to actually leave early. Um, he only he only had to stay for an hour. He was not able to come the whole night. But um, oh yeah, going back to bowling. I'm sorry, I keep getting sidetracked, but. Um, First game, uh, my friend, I mean, I was guessing, I'm like, these are two professional baseball players. Uh, they're just tall, strong guys. I'm like, these guys are absolutely, absolutely going to destroy us. My friend, first game, a 170 bowling score. And then Delvin, that like a uh, 110 or something, Tyreek, like a 105 or something. My friend, I think, that like three strikes in a row. And then, uh, there, man, Delvin and Tyreek were talking about like how good he was. And I didn't know my friend was actually that good bowling either, but man, he was killing them. He was actually absolutely, absolutely destroying them in bowling. And they're like, man, you you did it, man. You did, you did, bro. And they're like, you got a bowling team at your school? And he's like, no, I ain't got a bowling team at my school. But he's like, man, you can, you need, you need to be a professional bowler, man. He's like, you did it. But then uh, he was only actually able to stay for one bowling game. But then after he left, he's like, man, I'm kind of happy he left. He's like, we actually have a chance of winning this game. Um, he's like, man, we never, we never going to have a chance with him. But, um, these next four pictures are all the same. Uh, these are actually a picture. Uh, this is one of their first minor league games back in the summer. Might be back from like all this. Um, yeah, all four of these pictures I'm about to show you are the same as that picture. And this is a, a picture, a picture of them together back when they played each other in all this. Uh, this is Tyreek Reed uh, playing for the Rangers. Signed it down here. And then this is Delvin Zinn. Uh, signed it down here. Both signed in black. Uh, turn up. I actually turned out really good. Um, that's the first picture. Uh, here's the second picture. Here's the third picture. Here's the fourth one. Okay, that is the five pictures. Um, I got signed by them. And then I'm going to show you the game these bats. Uh, these bats look really, really nice. Uh, I mean, I knew Delvin Zan was giving me a bat, um, but I did not know Tyreek Ray was on giving me a bat either. But, um, man, I was super pumped to get these. I can't even describe to you how excited I was. I mean, this is the best thing I've ever gotten before from anybody. Uh, let me show you the bats first. The first one's going to be from Delvin Zan. Uh, let, me, let me back up a little bit. I'm going to try to show you the best, uh, best picture I can. 
Um, so here's the game news bat right here. You can kind of move closer to it. Here's one side of the bat. And then this is a, uh, what kind of bat is this? It says Phoenix Bats. Right down here. And then here is the autograph. I'm trying to get the best angle I can. It says to Trent. And then there it is signed beautifully by Delvin Zan. And then um, he actually has his own, like, I don't know if we, what you like really call it, but um, it actually has his name on it. Uh, this is that, like, personalized or something. I don't know, but it actually has Delvin Zan on, on his back, which is even cooler. But, uh, man, I know y'all probably can't see it the best, but uh, in person, it looks three times better. But, um, oh, yeah, let me show you this part down here. You probably trying to do the best angle I can, but uh, this part here is actually broken off um, a little bit. He told me he broke it during one of his games toward the end of the season. But, um, but man, still it's very nice. I don't care if the bat's broken at all. I mean, I'm just happy he did Danny's bat. But, yeah, this bat actually turned out better than the other one, but um, the other one turned out good still. And this is going to be a bat. I know them chairs forever. Um, and these bats just mean a lot to me just because they're people from my hometown. Uh, I know you guys probably never heard of them, but it's just going to mean a lot more to me than anyone else. I mean, same for you guys. If you got something uh, from someone you grew up watching as a little kid uh, from your hometown, 20 minutes away or something, it's going to mean a lot more to you. But, um, here's a Nets bat. This is the one from Tyreek. Read. Uh, this one's actually not broken. I'm just showing you the, like the angle of the bat. Let me try to let me try to zoom up on it. Uh, this is a what's, the, what's the R? A cus, it says Custom Rollins Professional Baseball Bat. That's what the R stands for. So this is a Russell bat. Here's the autograph right here. Uh, both players personalize it. So it's to Trent, and then here's uh, Tyreek Reed. He does not have the best looking autograph, but man, I don't even care. I'm just happy to get him. And this is where it says Custom Rollins Professional, uh, professional Baseball Bat. But man, um, let me show you this part right here. I actually forgot. I don't know if the bat was made like this or if some of the paint that cut off or something I'm not too sure but um on the other side you can see all kind of I know y'all can't see it the best I'm so sorry guys but, okay there's a little spot right there I mean he has all kind of spots on the other side here's a big one right here some like, big white spots from hitting the baseball um I mean he Tyreek's a really big dude I mean he probably weighs I bet he's like 6'1", I'm guessing. Um, very muscular guy. I bet he's 250 pounds, maybe 300 pounds. He's just a really big dude. And I bet he hit some really far home runs this year. So I bet this one, I bet that's why he has so many spots on the back because he just absolutely crushes the ball. And that's what he's known for. Uh, I mean, Delvin's not as much as a hitter. I mean, he's still a good hitter, but um, he's more known for his uh, defense and still on bases. I mean, he's a much smaller guy, uh, a lot faster, of course, but um, um, I'm actually going to be posting. Um, I would add the pictures and uh, I would actually add the pictures to my video. I'm pretty sure there's a way you can do it, but I don't know all the technology stuff. I mean, there's a way you can do it. I just don't know how to do it. But, um, I'm actually going to be putting the uh, pictures and the baseball bats on my Instagram page. Um, I was, I was, I didn't even, this didn't even cross my mind until after I left, but uh, I was, I was um, thinking, I'm like, man, I should have uh, recorded some videos with them. Uh, just as something that I remember, but um, 
right before we left, uh, Delvin asked for stranger. Um, he's like, hey man, can you take a picture of us? So he took a picture of me and uh, Tyreek and him together, and he actually put it, put it on his Instagram page, which I thought that was pretty cool too. Tag me on the Instagram page. Um, if y'all want to see the picture, uh, his username is, I think, Zen, it's like Z-I-N-N dot sits, I think. Um, and then Tyreek Hill is, well, he never did post a picture. I can't remember his name. Um, but I actually posted a picture on just my regular Instagram page. If y'all want to see the picture, uh, it's Trent Browning 12 is my uh, username on Instagram. I just my regular, regular page and then of course my fan pack TTM page. Uh, Trent TTM, I mean Trent, uh, Trent fan pack TTM. Uh, I'll be posting a picture on there too. Uh, I'm gonna be tagging them on there too. Uh, just to see, I mean, just so y'all can see it. But um, man, I can't tell you how excited I am to get this uh, coolest thing ever. Uh, just, I just love talking baseball, football, basketball, just anything. I mean, they're just really nice guys, really interesting to talk to. But. Um, Again, I might begin to hang out with them again sometime. They said they, they really wanted to try to hang out again. Just weren't too sure if they could. But um, there's actually another, um, he's a college football player. Um, he actually went to North Pontotoc High School. His name is Marcus Green. Uh, he goes to uh, Louisiana, yeah, Louisiana Monroe. Uh, he plays football for him right now. He's a Sophomore, junior, I believe, but um, whatever conference you're in, I can't remember what conference was in Monroe is, but um, he got first team, uh, it's like special teams this year, or like kick returner, punt returner, and yeah, I'm thinking he got first team receiver too, but he was he's really good, and um, Devin and Tyreek said they're really good friends with him too, and he was actually playing on common tonight, and he was gonna surprise me. But uh, something came up. He wasn't able to come. But uh, they said they, if we're able to hang out again, they're gonna try to get him to come. And um, they didn't tell me this, but I kind of got the hint. It's just some of the stuff they said to me. But uh, I think he might be hooking me up with some Danny's gloves. I mean, I can't say for sure, but uh, just they were just kind of giving me out hints. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a little weird, but, uh, but um, right out of words, but, uh, anyway, but, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video, uh, hope you enjoyed my, uh, story of how I got the game these bats, uh, it was very, very cool, but, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, hope all you guys have a good day, and, um, Oh yeah, actually, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. I uh, actually got one fan pack in from the uh, Clippers today. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more uh, fan packs, TTMs or something before I make a video. Like, I don't really want to make a video just on one. But, um, that very nice fan pack from the Clippers today. I'll be posting the next few days. But um, Anyway, please, I hope y'all like this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Hope you guys had a good day. I'll talk to you later.